In this video, we're going to take a closer look at loading material in SpeedGrade and conforming and bringing over a project via EDL and another way we've implemented between Premiere Pro CS6 and SpeedGrade CS6. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly show you a couple things on the desktop of the product. So for example, I've got a couple of folders open here, and each folder actually just contains one shot. Now, SpeedGrade has a really nice way of making sure that you can load a lot of material really quickly by just clicking on a top-level folder. I'm going to use this pull down here to say load sequences from folder and subtree. And this is going to show me everything that's from underneath that folder structure. And then I've got this very handy button here, which is called Add All, and that's going to bring all that media to my timeline immediately. I can close out of the desktop and start doing my work. Now, another way of bringing in material, because obviously you need to interact with editorial, is to look at what's happening with the workflow between Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade. So I'm going to quickly delete this project from my timeline and switch over to Premiere Pro. So as you can see, we're using the same assets here, but uh, they're edited in a nice way. And method number one would be to go to the file menu once you're done building your project. And then there's this new opportunity in Premiere Pro CS6 to say, send to Adobe SpeedGrade. Now, if you're going to do that, you're just going to define where the media it's going to render is going to live. And then it will also render a SpeedGrade project file. So the edits are going to be reproduced in a SpeedGrade timeline. So once you do that and hit Save, it's actually going to render that out to a chunk of DPX frames, or actually a chunk per edit. And if I come back into SpeedGrade and see what that's going to look like, then let me just find that folder here on my machine. And we've got that under Premiere Pro Projects. And also let me just take a look at these project files. So Athlete IRCP. I'm going to load that, and as you can see, it's bringing in the edit alongside the DPX frames that have been created. And I can start doing my work here. So I can do shop matching, creating the looks, everything I need to. Now, that is a really nice workflow for at least smaller projects, commercials in particular. It's a really nice workflow if you don't want to manage the data management all around your projects. But there is something more sophisticated, which would be the third method. And they're not mutually exclusive. Obviously, you can put all of these to work with your projects. Now, another way of bringing a project into SpeedGrade is to say you're going to hit File, and you're going to find Export, and click on EDL. And this is going to give you the option to send an EDL to SpeedGrade. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to hit OK, bring it to RAID Drive, and just put it into this project, call it Athlete 2. As you can see, it's uh, CMX 3600 style, has a preset already, so plain vanilla and simple. Now let's go back into SpeedGrade. And as you can see, I can find this file here already. So let's quickly refresh the desktop so we see both the projects that are in there. And I'm just going to click on that EDL. And that, that's going to actually now, again, reproduce the edits, but with one interesting advantage over the um, sent to SpeedGrade workflow I used first. So I can now actually go into my real section of the application, find the original source material that's been also used for editing in Premiere Pro. And all I've got to do is to make sure that I use the sequences from folder and subtree option again, so I see all the material that's inside the project folder. Load from desktop is actually now going to conform all the material adhering to the EDL 3600 style. That's a lot quicker on larger projects, and it also has got the advantage of being able to conform to different kind of media. So if you're thinking of an offline and online workflow, you can easily use proxies for editorial, but then conform to the original source media in SpeedGrade. So these are the three basic ways of loading and conforming material in SpeedGrade.